What do you think about that movie we watched? Which one? For um for movie night on Discord. Bro, I wasn't there. You weren't there? I saw you in that shit. I wasn't there for that. Oh, what the fuck? I peeped in for two seconds and I dipped. I oh. don't know. I, what were you guys watching? No, we were watching this movie called Triangle. What's that about? It's like, okay, so pretty much what it was, it was this ship, right? Yeah. And whenever somebody comes onto it, yeah. it's like cursed so that she gets trapped into this like never ending cycle of people coming back to the ship but it's her it's almost as if clones of herself and clones of the same people keep getting put onto the ship what so like there's duplicates of her on the ship yeah it's like duplicates and then supposedly it was cursed by this like greek god i forgot the name of it yeah i think it starts with the a but what happened was this guy he was punished by zeus yeah to push up a rock but oh. it would always roll back down and we'd have to redo it over and over again so I think what happened in this in the movie was she actually cheated death. She cheated death? Yeah, she cheated death. And then her punishment for cheating death was that she had to replay that that whole scenario over and over and over again. With the ship and her duplicates. With the ship and her duplicates. And she I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. like there's like killings and stuff that goes on on that boat. She's killing? Is she crazy? I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Like, it's a really good movie. It's a really good movie. Yeah. You know, you know the funny thing about it is that when you look into Greek mythology, Zeus is actually insane, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I heard. Is, <laughs> bro, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. It seems like every other, like, uh, story about him, he's always torturing some next person or doing some next shit. Yeah, and wasn't he the one that overthrew the, the gods? Overthrew them? The, uh, the titans. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Overthrew them. What's the story on that? I, I, I'm not really... Okay, so, like, it started with their father, Kronos. Yeah. And basically what ended up happening was that he was scared that Zeus and his children mm -hmm. would overthrow him. Oh, so he was right then. <laughs> he was right then. He was, he was right, right then. So what he did was that he ate Poseidon, Hades, I forgot, but everybody else other than Zeus. Oh, so, what the fuck? So uh, I think her name was Gaia. She took Zeus in. Yeah. Basically uh, raised him. And then when Zeus was old enough, he had these these Cyclops build weapons for him. Mm. And then he went to go overthrow his father. Oh. I don't know how he did it, but he got all of them out. And then all the all the Cyclops made weapons for them. So, you know, Zeus is like lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where it came from. Oh, it came from these like Cyclops people. Yeah, and then you know Hades, how he has like an invisible helmet. Yeah. Yeah, and you know how Poseidon has tried it? Yeah. All from the Cyclops. Oh, they, shit. They, they all built that up. So mm -hmm. then they went and they overthrew every single Titan. And then they all got their own domains. And all since right. Zeus, was, uh, Zeus was top dog, he was like, he got, he got, he yeah, got, he's yeah, like he got, the he's the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was the one that did it. Exactly. So he got Olympus. And what? then he sunned everybody. He gave Poseidon the sea and he gave Hades, like, the underworld. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Now he's yeah. an asshole. He's an asshole. I, 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 think, I think I know some of it from, like, Percy Jackson, but some of it from, um, you know, God of War. Yeah, yeah, that's God, God, yeah, God of War is crazy. God of War is crazy. But the story behind God of War is crazy, too. Because for a long time, I thought that was the truth. Like, um, I thought that was canon in greek mythology oh with God Kratos? Of War. With yeah Kratos? it's not no it's not it's like fictional All or like original. it's fiction of the fiction you know <laughs> it is fiction of the fiction but it's like it's like its own twist on it yeah like honestly Kratos' story i kind of like it more than in greek mythology story because kratos got bro kratos is going because because kratos i think the story was his family was murdered by by zeus or something right by Ares. oh yeah the god of war yeah by the god of war so he tricked him, and then Kratos went to go get revenge on him, and then he turned into a god. And then yeah. the gods did something to him, and then he had beef with the gods. Then oh, and then he, that's how he killed Ares to become the god of war? To become the god of war. It's that's hard. sick. It's hard. That's it's sick. Hard. It's, hard. It's, hard. it's crazy how, like, these stories come to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just Greek mythology in general. How did they... Who was the first one to come up with, like, the idea of these three gods, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon? Honestly, like... I think people really underestimate the creativity of the human mind. Mm -hmm. Like when you really think about it, like coming up with those stories, it's just something that people like they have a knack for. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. Like it's unexplainable. But like when you look at like all types of media and fiction, mm -hmm. how do people come up with any of that too? Like Nah, that's true. That's so true. Just even like movies, even anime plots. Anime bro. plots. Like anime in general. I don't know how people sit down and come up with that. They, yeah. It just goes to show you how creative the human mind is. Like they create characters and they dive deep into like backstories, backstories tragedy, stories, everything, bro. Character and it's it's dope because like you see 
their own story out of it, like their own personal stories put into it. Definitely. And then you could tell that when you read those stories, it's like the person putting their their own like uh their own self into it kind of, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting what they think into the story and you see how it uh il- illustrates well. Yeah. And I'm thinking back like damn, maybe some of these like rom-coms or like heartbreak movies like The Notebook and shit, they're based off true events, fam, or like true feelings. It usually is. Most cases, it usually is. If you really think about it, like heartbreaking stories and stuff like that, there's some, like, they got to get a reference from somewhere, bro. You know, I think, I think, like, if you go through something that terrible, let's say a heartbreak, let's say, like, tragedy or something, you got to put it, you got to, you can't keep your feelings in, you got to put it out some way. Right. Right. And I feel like that's what everybody does. Some people do it in more non ethical ways, whether it be like violence or like abuse, yeah. alcohol, whatever it may be. Yeah. Substance abuse. But some people, their crutch is to put it into a canvas. Yeah. Which may be media, songs. Songs. Songs yeah, and shit, like, right? You could hear it all the time when rappers get like, they get split up and they're talking about shorties that left them and stuff. Yeah. Like, Travis Scott. I'll kill you. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, you say Travis chill Scott. Out, chill out, chill out. Too early, too early. No, but even, yeah, like Lil Baby, look at Lil Baby, right? Exactly. Or even Kodak. Kodak, Kodak especially. Made, Kodak made one of the saddest rap songs ever. Skirt. Skirt, skirt. skirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the saddest fucking rap songs, bro. Did that one hit you? Like I heard that one, it kind of hit me. But no, it, it didn't. It hit me. It hit me in the sense like it sounded so good. But I'm just thinking like, damn, who did that to Kodak? <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, just, listen, girls are lethal, bro. They're lethal. That's tough, bro. Yeah, it's tough. But it's 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 crazy to see like um two sides, right? Yeah, you know I mean, because like Kodak, you see one side of me is such a gangster, and so, then the other side is like he still has feelings, you know? Yeah, and that's not talked about a lot because especially not. with men, fam. Men's feelings, I know they're underestimated, but I I saw a study recently that said that men feel heartbreak more than women. Word. I saw a study on that, so it's easier for women to move on to men. Like when men get rejected, yeah, they're hurt for it about like three or four weeks. Women they get over it in like uh, six days or something. That's crazy. No, but that makes sense though, because honestly, girls can girls can go find another guy like that. Th- exactly, options are easier for girls. That's, yeah, that's that, true. That, that's that's true. But guys are a little bit harder because you got to be the one to like go out and then do it. You know, you're what the mean? one. Yeah, you're the one. Because you're you're the one that's then. like on the hunt in exactly. the sense. You know. Exactly. Girls, it's kind of easy. Like, even in high school, like, when you're doing prom proposals, it's usually guys, right? Yeah. Guys are usually the ones that have to put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. Girls are just the ones that have to be like, yes or nah. That's true. That's true. It's kind of like that. You you know those stories where, like, out of nowhere, a guy finds a girl and it was, like, meant to be? Like, like those stories of um, love at first sight. Yeah. Do you think that's true? Or do you think it's just, like, mumbo jumbo? Um, Do you think there's such thing as, like, love at first sight, fam? Like, look at this story, like, Romeo and Juliet and shit. Like, they were mad young. Yeah. No way they married like that and, like, did did all that strategy yeah. for you, for someone you just met. Mm-hmm. I, I think, I, I don't want to say it's mumbo-jumbo, but I think that uh, love at first sight, I don't think it's a thing, bro. Because, like, you got to really buy with the person. Like, I feel like love at first sight is more like you're attracted to them. I feel like that's sight. just lust. Just no? lust. Yeah. There's nothing there. Because, like... I could say, oh, that girl's really cute. I could feel something for her because I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's so cute. Yeah, yeah. You could get to know them, and they're like everything you don't want, you know? That's true. Everything you don't want. So I don't know if love at first sight is a real thing. Like, maybe you like them. Maybe you like them, but Mm. definitely not love, bro. I don't think that's a real thing. Okay, what do you think about, like, you know know how the astrology things, they always talk about twin flames, or they talk about, like, their soulmates. Nah, I never heard that shit before, bro. What's that? Nah? What is that? So a twin flame, pretty much, this is just from what people told me, is, like, it's your soul was made out of this fire, right? right? And with that same fire, you may have people in your life that, were meant to be in your life Great. so let's say your mom dad sister whatever yeah they're all part of this flame that your family's attached to yeah. now this flame could also be attached to other souls yeah on earth right right and people that you're meant to meant to meet later on in life okay so they're attached to you somehow so that's why a lot of people say like oh this person's my twin flame i was meant to meet them you know what i mean you do you believe in that i don't i don't know bro but i do believe like some people you're meant to meet some people you are meant to meet i think yes yes i agree with that i think sometimes where god puts people in a place for you to see them Mm -hmm. i think that's that's true but 
I don't know. Like the thing about it for me, relationships are so important on how you vibe with the person. I think that's what matters the most. And rather than just like even just everything else, um, interests, hobbies, all that shit. Yeah. That kind of ties into the vibe, but the vibe is something completely different. Completely different. Like it's kind of like this. It's like if you're put into a relationship with somebody, yeah, that's not your choice. Like, let's say it's arranged, mm-hmm. male and female. Are you going to say that's your twin flame because somebody arranged it for you? Oh, shit. That's a good point, Denzo. That's what I'm saying. Like, is that your twin flame? Or like when you get to know them, you still don't vibe with them, but you're still married to them. Is that your twin flame? That's a good point, bro. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think what it is really is just like finding the perfect match for you. There's no perfect except for perfect for you. Feel me? Exactly. Like nobody else is going to know what's best for you, but you. Absolutely. And you got to find out like, but there's a perfect for you in one time. But does that, does that change? That's the real question. Cause the perfect for you now may be a perfect for you. Like a perfect for you later would be different. That's right. That's absolutely right. That's why I'm saying that I don't think there's just one person. Like the way you develop as a person can change an interest. Yeah. Maybe something happens to you and you're like, oh my God, I can never date somebody like that. Or what if the true perfect person for you changes the same way as you? Then. Right? Because look, look, maybe, maybe maybe that's the true like soulmate in a sense where you guys go on this journey and then you guys become or grow together grow together you guys grow together stuff like that that's what i think is raw that's yeah. what i think is like a true bond that's like a real vibe it's a real that's vibe. a real vibe when you elevate and that person's elevating with you i think that's when you're the closest yeah definitely that's okay well what's like one thing on a checklist that you check off like they got to be into something anime Anime, anime that's the one for you needs to be it has to be, it has huh? to be. that's like a prerequisite prerequisite okay what else what else i feel like if you're into anime that that just it says a lot because you're likely into some of the common ones like let's say naruto right yeah and i feel like a lot of anime it holds a lot of like good virtues feel me it does but the thing i think the most about anime is that when someone says they're into anime you can basically tell a lot about that person they stay home they're usually home watching shows on netflix oh they that's go out true. a lot you, you like when they say anime like they're giving you so much about themselves without even realizing it and then when they say which anime they like yeah then you get to know like okay this is their interest yeah that's you know true I mean? yeah yeah so anime is such a quick way to download a person mm-hmm. so they're like okay i like this anime let's say it's a comedy so they like jokes they like watching funny stuff yeah. you can say another funny anime they're gonna be about it they're gonna say something brutal i like all this dark gory stuff mm. oh okay so they like something like berserk oh oh yeah you give, yeah, them, yeah. You give them options and then they're probably like into more horror stuff, more horror stuff. yeah and, and you can talk about that you can talk about that it's that's so, true it's easy like that yeah so when you when when they say they're into that to me that's that's bro i think the big one for me because i saw i saw a tiktok right yeah i saw a tiktok and the guy was like yo if you guys are fans of naruto right and don't work out that means you didn't watch the show properly. Because if you think about it, if you think about it, yeah, the whole point of Naruto was what? Building yourself better to be better. Exactly. I mean, training, being the best shinobi you can. Exactly. So... For all the all the Naruto fans, where you got the the, the Katsuki rings, I got you Katsuki rings. You got to so. be on your on your on fitness your grind. grind too. You got to be on your fitness grind, fam. Absolutely, absolutely. But the thing about uh, the thing about that though is that stories like that that push people to to better themselves mm-hmm. and stuff like that, I think is super important for when you're uh, when you're talking to someone as well. Yeah, you yeah, can give yeah. them stuff like that. You you gotta you gotta like give off the same vibe. Give to, off the same to vibe. motivate yeah, others. Yeah. To motivate exactly, others. Exactly, right? exactly. Stories like that. Yeah, honestly, I think I think one prerequisite for me, we you gotta be inter you gotta be interested in like the paranormal theories or the supernatural at least theories. Not not like not like believe in it, yeah. but at least entertain it. Cause me, I don't I don't believe in a lot of shit. Yeah, but I entertain it to see like oh let's see what it's about. Okay, yeah, no, nah, I see that. So like if a shorty comes up to you, she has to be like if you say, like if you say yo do you believe in aliens, she has to also be like I believe in aliens. No, not not believe like in aliens. Like, like I, I don't I, I believe in aliens, but I don't believe in aliens. You like oh you? you know oh okay. So. I, but I believe like there's a chance like oh shit maybe one day. So if she comes up to you, and she's like I, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in spirits. Yeah, that that's a no brainer for you. You're not into that. I think so because yeah. that also that's also a, a tell if like they believe in 
God or like yeah. a higher power. Okay, okay. You know, it goes into your virtues and stuff. Like yeah, that. that that's part of it. That's part of it. Because if you believe in God, you do believe in like the Holy Spirit. You believe in ghosts. Exactly. You believe in spirits. You believe in like the devil too. So there's some dark stuff about that too. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Also, I think what it takes too is like being able to see something. Yeah. And then trying to give your own opinion about it. You know what I mean? Not just your own, own opinion, but being able to be like open to ideas. That's what you're looking for in a that's, girl? That's what I'm always looking for with anybody, anybody that I meet. Like if somebody's stubborn, yeah, you have me too stubborn or too like closed minded. Yeah. I don't know how I ever vibe with that. Because they're not flexible, right? They're not flexible. They have their own mindset and you can't really. Like it, it's good. It's good to have your own like uh, beliefs, your own virtues that you stay to. Yeah. But I think it's important to be able to be open minded to like listen. Absolutely. Right? That's definitely, I think that's something that should always be in like a, in like any type of relationship is that you have somebody that's open-minded. How can you, like, I don't know how you could talk to somebody who's not open-minded. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know everything. Yeah. Nobody knows everything. Nobody knows anything. Like, so you saying that this person is wrong and you don't know anything. Like, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It can't happen. Exactly. Right. Like when you hear shit come out, like, oh, there was a, a Bigfoot sighting. Like, obviously you're going to be skeptical. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. talking about yeah but at least be like oh let me look into it maybe for sure instead show of just saying like oh that's just bullshit show some interest right? nah show some interest i don't know like there's so much stuff people don't know that you need to show more interest in things like this yeah because stuff like that can enlighten you yo so i heard this thing before i, I saw i saw like an article on this yeah there's this thing called the wow signal you ever heard about that nah <laughs> so check this out so i think it was nasa yeah. They found this like signal from all the way 126 light years away in the Sagittarius like constellation or some shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was live for, I, I think, exactly 71 seconds. Right. All the way out in outer space, yeah. 100, 127 light years away, bro. There was a message from out of there, probably extraterrestrial. And they had no idea what it was. The guy just wrote, wow, right beside the, the sighting. Yeah. And he's like, no explanation for it. Okay. What, they saw that. So how far away was it? Like, bare far away, bro. So that means there is, like, life out there. It just said, wow? No, 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 no. He wrote, wow, like, on the paper. He's like, wow, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you get me? What? So, no, nah, okay, so then what was the actual sighting then? My bad. What was the actual sighting? They, they don't know, but it was, like, a signal. It was, like, a real signal. Just like, a real signal. They couldn't, they couldn't translate it or anything. It was just, like, a oh. message. Just a message. Oh. From bare far away. Oh. Okay, so, like aliens who knows bro aliens? we don't we don't know for sure but if it yeah if it's that far away it's probably something from another planet so what do you think it is do you believe in do you believe in like life on other planets definitely absolutely maybe not human life mm -hmm. but there should be other life on other planets do you think do you think they would be more intelligent than us or do you think they would be the same i think it depends I think it depends. Like Earth as a whole, I don't think it's like the the only way time can go. Like maybe time can accelerate more in different universes. We don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know that. We don't know how technology advances. Like if you think about it, the way like uh the world kind of elevated, it might not be the only way other planets elevate. Maybe That's true. They might have more resources. They might have smarter people. You know what sucks though? We can never like go there or find out. Not yet. Not yet. No, but but we can't like physically our bodies can't because we'd age before we get there right right that's the only thing so they'd have to come here yeah they'd have to come here if they have that technology and shit but but maybe they can't so maybe they are like us more than we think mm. maybe they age like us maybe that's why aliens don't come here maybe that's why people don't come from faraway planets because they can't do what we can do oh yo 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 i heard this theory right yeah there's a theory that there's something on earth yeah. that makes everybody age but on other planets they don't age so the reason aliens don't want to come to earth yeah is because they're scared if they breathe in our air or some chemical that's in earth they will age and die you're lying you're because if you think about it on earth everything ages nothing's forever right yeah so what if on different this is just theoretical but what if on other planets fam they don't age or nothing dies it's just like everlasting would you want to be in an everlasting world? I don't know. But what if, what if that's heaven? You know what I mean? What if that's uh, like heaven? Nah, nah. Like, isn't the best thing about life that it isn't it isn't eternal? I don't yeah, I don't know, bro. 
I, it's up to it's that's up to, true that's true up to like personal opinion but like i feel like what makes life impactful is what you could do in the time you have mm-hmm. like if life was eternal like you know there's a quote from naruto that says that like dead people shouldn't get in, get in the way of the new generation oh that's so true it, it's like we need to pass on what we have for the next generation to grow so us staying here mm-hmm. it's us not helping them grow. It's like if your parents were always with you, coddling you, you would never grow. Yeah. So, or even holding grudges about about beef that wasn't yours. Beef that wasn't yours, exactly. So I don't know. Like for me, I personally wouldn't want to live in a world that's eternal, but it does sound like heaven. Mm. It does sound like. No, nah, yeah, I think there's only one way is to have a, a world with balance. Is if it's if it's not eternal, if things die. That's what I was going to ask. Because it's like a light and dark, right? Yeah. Like, do you want a world that's all good? Like, obviously, we want a girl that a world that's all good. But, like, do you think that world needs balance to, like, continue? I think so. Like, you can't just have complete obedience, right? Because if, if everything's amazing or everything's so good and everything's so positive, then you're not going to be able to, to see the difference of it. So, let's say... All you feel is good. You don't know anything about bad. If a little bit of bad happens, it's gonna it's gonna feel like amazingly bad. You get me? Yeah. You watch Squid Game, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know that thing with Il Nam, mm-hmm. where he said that the only thing that a rich person and a poor person has is that when you're rich, you get bored of it. Oh yeah. So he has everything. He can get whatever he wants, but he's still bored of it. Mm-hmm. You think that's the same thing that applies to this type of situation? Because time is money. Time is money. Time is still money. Right. So if you live forever, yeah, you might get, yeah, 100%. You'll get bored of anything, bro. Get bored. If you can get bored of a video game, you can get bored of life. I exactly. Think. You don't replay the same video game six times in a row. Yeah. You but you got to do like everything in the world, I think. Everything. But eventually you will be bored because eternity is eternity. Eternity is eternity. The thing is, too, is that, though, things develop. Right? Yeah. New things happen. So will you really get oh, bored of this shit, eternal? That's a good point. Things progress. That's a good point. Cause what if like fucking a vampire from like centuries and centuries ago yeah. still alive today and he's fucking bumping VR and shit. Bumping VR. That's you know? what I'm saying. Like, we didn't have this back in the day. Exactly. That's a good point. That's actually a good point. People don't think about that. Because like, things are changing. Things, things are changing. Even if it's eternal. Damn. Progress, that's a good argument, fam. Because for, for a long time, I always thought like, nah, I, I would definitely want to, I wouldn't want to be a, eternal, uh, eternal or I wouldn't want to live forever just because... I'm gonna I'm gonna feel a lot of depression yeah. of like people I meet and people go. Yeah. But now that you say that there's new things coming out and always. there's always the world still runs. Think about it. This is 2020. We yeah. didn't have half the shit we have now in 2000. This is it was 20 years ago. Yeah. Eternity away. Like 100 years from now, what do you think is gonna happen? How do you think the world's gonna develop? No, that's so years true, from now? bro. That's so true. Because because 100 years ago we didn't even have like fucking eight gig gram. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> <get me? laughs> We, we didn't have any of that shit. Bro, we didn't have phones. We didn't have Yeah, any. we didn't have phones, bro. bro. Now think about nah, that's f- that's <laughs> Yo, f- I that in. Bro, this is just 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. 2000. So in 100 years, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think the world's going to be? Bro, we might not even be living here. Bro, that's the thing. Bro, we we might not even be living here. We might just be fucking going to like uh the metaverse or whatever yes. whatever they have planned for it bro that's what i'm saying or it could turn like a complete left field uh-huh. and it could be like armageddon what do you mean shit it's gonna be like an apocalypse bro wait, wait, wait chill out bro <laughs> knock on wood fair yeah, knock on, knock on wood, about, knock on wood but about. like they always have talks about it though like mm. imagine the next world war uh uh-huh. how devastating that would be if they launch the nukes and shit like, and if you're considering it 20 years from it's now. It's going to be Fallout. You know Fallout? Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah. like that. Well, but what, like, when you think about it, is there a real reason they use nukes, fam? Like, to why kill do, people, bro. I know, fam, but, like, why? Like, why do you need a nuke, fam? No, like, because this. I think this is what happened. Yeah. So, America, they made the first nuclear weapon, right? And they used it to end World War II with Japan. Right. Because uh, the Japanese didn't want to surrender until, like, they dropped the bomb on Hir- Hir- uh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima, yeah. yeah. Nagasaki, yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they d- they dropped the atomic bomb there. Yeah. Devastating. Devastating. Killed, like, how many people? Right. And then they saw the power of that, and all the other countries were like, okay, they have that. 
they're like in charge. You know what I mean? They have all the power. Yeah. So they had to they had to assimilate and get their own. Right. Because imagine imagine we're in a fight. Yeah. No, no. Imagine we're in like a competition. Yeah. And then I have a knife and you have a gun. Yeah. I'm gonna be disadvantaged if something goes wrong. Right. So I'm gonna make sure I have a gun too, just in case. Of course. Yeah. You know I mean, so I think that's what happened. Yeah, but then it's at, like at this point, why would I need to shoot you? Like when you think about it, like nuclear bombs, like don't you think that's kind of like a primitive way? Yeah, like, I know. You're right. It's you're right. hella primitive. Yeah. Why do you need to kill that much people? Mm -hmm. Like when you really think about it. That's so true. Like, why can't you have a conversation? Mm -hmm. Can't you talk about your problems? No, that that's a really good because. But I think what it is though, bro. Yeah, it's so different. Like, if you if you think about a country, right? Yeah, one country to another country across the world. Right, their belief system, their way of life is very different. Their right. ethics is very different. No, that's very so. True. It's kind of hard to negotiate terms, especially when it gets into business. Like natural resources and shit. Yeah. There's gonna be beefs. You know what I mean? There's gonna be yeah, beef. No, nah, absolutely. If there's beef in the rap industry, there's beef in world politics. There you know has I mean? to be. There has to be. That's true. There's gonna be a hella beef in world politics. Like, honestly, we could say that and then like a resource that the, like everybody needs goes missing and then you can see how quickly the world goes to shit. Yo, there's a theory that the next world war is gonna be about water, fam. Water? About water. Because of global warming? Whatever it may be, whether it be like a uh, disease, yeah. whether it be uh, global warming, natural disaster, something yeah. is going to come down to fresh water because fresh water isn't everywhere. That's true. It's, I, I think we really underestimate how important water is. Yeah. We are 70% water. Yeah, fam. <laughs> we need that shit. Exactly. <laughs> you so that. you can imagine if, let's say you're on an island and the only water you get is like sea yeah it's like salt, salt water, water. it's yeah. salt water yeah how are you gonna drink that bro you gotta you gotta find a way to get fresh water just like oh you watched the movie dune yeah you watch that i watched that so you know how you know how everything was about like oh you gotta stay hydrated stay hydrated mm. because it's so it's so hot here uh, and you'll die if you don't have water right. everything was running on water remember yeah it's like the currency the currency was water but it makes so it makes a lot of sense because fam that's that's literally life life is water life is water and you know michael burry you yeah. know who that is yeah he was the guy that predicted the big short with the economic crash yeah so there's a theory that michael burry the only stocks like he's really really invested in a lot yeah is water fresh water because he's predicting. because he predicts that the next war the next problem with the world is going to be because of water oh but that's that's actually a very like true thing like even with global warming we don't know what's gonna happen to water in 50 years bro we don't we don't know what's gonna happen to we water don't in 50 bro years. anything could happen like do you keep up with global warming and stuff like that not really you don't keep up with it i don't keep up with it either i don't know about climate change or none of that but it's underrated look it's <laughs> underrated it's underrated fam nobody talks about that shit like you were in uh you were in science class in like grade 10 grade yeah grade, and they were telling you how bad climate change is oh it's terrible bro how bad global it's terrible is. but what did we do fam we, we, we made some changes kind of we did some changes kinda. but like realistically speaking do you like do, do you like go to sleep wake up climate change do you think about that shit hell no you don't think about hell it hell no i'm more worried about like fucking what's going on in the world what's like news on? fucking we're more worried about celebrity beefs <sighs> or celebrity like beefs than drama and shit yeah, exactly like that's crazy bro that's so true a lot of people they don't realize we have to take care of the planet because this is all we got bro all we got this is like life itself and I, we're not taking care of life itself. We don't care about it too because it doesn't immediately apply to us. That tells you a lot about us, fam. Damn, that that tells you a lot about human nature, fam. Human nature. So check this out. I want to show you a video. Right. This girl, she did an experiment, right? Okay. To test human nature. Check right. this out. Morbid facts, part two hundred two. In a 1974 art performance, Marina Abramovich told visitors she wouldn't move for six hours no matter what they did to her. She placed 72 items on a table and invited people to use them on her however they pleased with no punishment. So she stayed still yeah. and put like all of these random things she, they can do to her, like scissors, whatever it may be, torture devices. And she said she was going to stand there no matter what. Wait, listen, okay. so she was testing humans. There are objects for pleasure, including a rose, perfume and wine, as well as objects for pain, including scissors, a whip and a loaded gun. Visitors were gentle to begin with, but gradually got more aggressive as they became comfortable. 
Within three hours, all of her clothes had been completely cut off and some people even started slicing her skin. She was sexually assaulted various times and had rose thorns stuck in her abdomen. One person even held the gun to her head until someone else took it away. Afterwards, Abramovich said, if you leave it up to the audience, they can kill you. That's fucked. Is that real? That's real. What? She did it as like an art experiment or like a social experiment. So where'd she do that? I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. Like where? In like a basement? Ooh, okay. I think it was like a... I don't even know. I think it was just like a public area. Where they get prisoners or some shit in there? Like, no, but but what it was, like she was there. Yeah. You get me? And because imagine yeah. somebody standing there, they can't do anything. Right. Right. Some people are sick in the head. And she was trying to prove to everybody else that some people are sick in the head and they will do evil things to her if she does that. If she does that. If yeah. she's like completely submissive. Yeah. That's, I don't think I've ever seen something like that. That's f that's See, and that goes to show human nature. That's terrifying. Right? Because her, her last quote was, if you leave it up to the audience, they will try and kill you. Oh my. Because, oh my. So does that mean, does that mean yeah. the way our society works, it's it's lean towards evil? The way it is right now, do you think it's lean towards evil? Uh, I don't know if I'd say evil, but I think it's scary how curious we are. Mm. I think our curiosity the curiosity humans have is like it's underrated. That's the only way I could say it's underrated. Because there's so many like chemical, there's so many chemicals they try and take advantage of us, right? Yeah. Like look at pornography. They're trying to they're trying to trick our brains and force us into doing things, right? Doing things and showing us how sex is when it's not really like that. Yeah. But like the thing is, is that it, I think it's the way like how you would see something, how I would see something. If mm. I see somebody completely submissive like that, I'm not gonna go do something like that. Yeah. Somebody else might. Humans all look at things differently. That's true. some real shit. Mm -hmm. And our curiosity is crazy like that. So we don't know. Like, you don't even know. I don't know. Like, you know, we're judging it. But what would we do in that situation? I wouldn't do nothing, bro. I wouldn't I'll, do nothing I'll either. probably document it like, yo, this this girl's doing this crazy experiment. You oh. would, maybe you wouldn't be using, like, rose thorns or something like that. But, like, you would pee something. something. I don't know, would pique your interest, bro. I think so. But it's it's weird to say because like you see you see the fucking outcome of it you know yeah, what I mean nah, you see the weird. outcome of that shit nah it's really messed up it's really taking weird. a loaded gun for what for okay what? that's what I'm saying I'm that's what I'm saying for man. what that shit's weird as hell that's why I said she she was probably surrounded by prisoners or some shit for her was it prisoners I don't think it was prisoners yeah, dog bro. it was just like regular people it was just weirdos, out in the public man. definitely weirdos I never I never even heard of that shit before I don't think prisoners do that shit. Nah, prisoners will do enough uh, stuff to okay, you, Okay, they, they would have done enough stuff they to have you. Nothing, they have nothing left to lose, bro. But that's just weird, though. Like, was it, like was, did the study say it was normal humans? Like, just, yeah, regular, it was just people? regular people, I'm pretty sure. Like, but it, it's like, you can you can take that you can take that human mind, right? Let's say you, you take somebody, a regular person, and put them into very dangerous situations or very scarce situations where they need to bring out a weird self into them. To right. do things for them to survive. Right. Like, let's say you put them on an island to survive. Put them into Squid Game. You get me? Yeah. Under these circumstances, we're going to be forced to do things like that. Exactly. Is it ethical? No. But, like, it's, that's what you end up doing if you want to live. Exactly. It's like, yeah, I guess under, like, pressuring situations, like, we don't know what we would do. Yeah. It's the way, like. Just like in the Hunger Games, yeah, bro. Hunger Imagine Games. you're in the Hunger Games. Like you take somebody out hungry, I I take somebody out hungry. Yeah, I have I'm to. I'm not trying to die for him. I, I I would have to try and win. You know what I, I mean? I have to bite somebody or some shit. Yeah. Like, see when it comes down to it, like you'll do anything to survive. Of course, resources are scarce there. I was I was trying. I was thinking about that last night. I was like, if I was ever in Hunger Games, bro, bro, I'd be a menace. <laughs> <laughs> on some purge shit I'd be a menace Listen bro This ain't no like, It's not a joke when you, when this Yeah place, I know like, Someone tells you It's you or 12 other people bro It's not a joke It's time to move See what's crazy And I always think about this Knock on wood This ever happens Yeah But let's say the world Becomes this like Post-apocalyptic like Era of Dog eat dog you know what I mean? Where let's say it's a zombie apocalypse. Look at The Walking Dead. We're yeah. killing each other for resources. Right. In a sense, we already do that. Yeah. In a sense, we already do like fight over resources. Yeah. But it's just not down to surface level. No, it's not. You know what I mean? It's or not. like one to one level. It's not real. It's not as personal. You get me? It's not as personal. You're talking about like if it's a Cause, lot Because going back to world politics, they're fighting over natural resources. Yeah. Now imagine we bring it down to even more personal like you have the burger i don't 
<laughs> you got me. It's the same shit. Like okay, like like uh, the hierarchy needs like shelter. Yeah, <laughs> water, food, that in general. In that case, you would be a menace. I'd be a menace. Everybody like, would. Everybody would be a menace. Everybody it's for would. survival at that point. Yeah. Oh, but like, how far you think you would go? How far I think it would go, how bro? I don't know, go? man. How far you think it would go? I think whatever is necessary. Like I don't know, but it, that's what I'm saying. If we're in, let's say, a zombie apocalypse, we're not thinking straight no more. No, nah, we're not. And we're gonna be pushed to the edge. It's that type of atmosphere. Yeah. Oh man. Do you think? Do you think it's gonna be easy for someone to flip that switch, or do you think some people will have it easier than others? That's a great question. I think it would be easier for some people. Mm. Some people probably hide their true intentions, bro. We don't know everybody. Yeah. Some people are scary, bro. Like sociopaths. Sociopaths. Like, it's like stories that you read about people who are like, uh, or like stories about people who shoot up schools and they were like great students. And then mm. like all of a sudden something clicked in them and they went and did that. Yeah. So put them in a situation where they're allowed to. You don't know how many switches would flip. Oh, shit. That's, that's very flip. true, bro. It's crazy. That's very true. That's very dark. It is dark. It is dark. But, like, situations like that, it could push you to do stuff like that. Yeah. Especially if it's, like, live or die. The majority of people don't want to die. Yo, you ever heard that story how there were these two girls, right? Yeah. And they murdered this other student because of Slenderman? No. You heard about that? Or you you gotta be, please tell me you're joking. No, this is, like, a true story. There is no way. This was in the news, fam. Slenderman. So the, they said the, the tall white guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? So these two girls, they guided their classmate into the forest right. and murdered them uh-huh. with knives. And they said the reason they did it was because the Slenderman told them to. Slenderman from the game, bro. Are you playing with me? No, this is a real story. This Ooh. is like real fact. Slenderman. Like they got arrested. Everything. How old were they? I think they were young. They were like elementary school. Nah. Nah. I think they were like 12, something like that. Something crazy. What? Yeah, bro. Okay, do you think do you think there's a possibility yeah. that some evil that goes on in the world is due to paranormal experiences or the supernatural? Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you think the the voice in their head might have been something else, not just their internal thoughts? It could be. I don't see 12-year-olds doing that. How frequent is it that 12-year-olds do that? Mm-hmm. So how uh, two 12 year olds? How do you find two 12 year olds that are willing to kill another 12 year old? Yeah, that's far. I don't think so, bro. I think there might be something more. to You that. think there's, there's people that can get possessed and then forced into killing somebody? I would have said maybe there was something wrong with her if it was just her. But yeah. you said two, two were willing to do that. Mm-hmm. How all right, how likely is it that you find two sociopaths in the same elementary school? And they both said it was slender. And they both said it was slender. I don't know, man. Nah, nah, there's I don't something know. there. There's something I don't know. There's something there. Some ghosts or some shit. Some ghosts and some shit, right? Yeah, some ghosts or some shit. It's fucked. Coming from that, I heard this story. It's kind of similar to that, but it's a lot more messed up. Yeah. Basically, everybody. Okay, listen. Chill yeah, out. Yeah. Chill out. But everybody who hears this story. They're supposed to die after. Nah, what the fuck? I don't want to hear that <laughs> nah, shit. Like, oh, nah, nah, I don't want to hear I this pre- story. I prep this. I prep this. I prep this. I don't want to hear this fucking story, bro. bro please, bro. I prep this. Okay, fine. I'll knock on wood. Knock on wood. All right. Okay, go. Okay, so it's a cursed story. It's in Japan. And basically, the story is so terrifying that you tremble in fear and die after you hear it. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but okay, like... not going to do that. Okay, go. Okay, so there's this teacher, and he yeah. was in a bus, and there was a student on the bus, and he was a, he was getting harassed by, like, other students, and he felt bad for him, so yeah. what he did was that he told him a story, and basically the story is called the cowhead story. Mm-hmm. So the cowhead story is about a man, his son, and his wife, mm-hmm. and basically they were on a they were on a trip to another village i think they were looking for resources or something but it was super snowy yeah and it was hard to get through and the child was a newborn so he couldn't travel with her that much mm-hmm. so what happened was that he opened the cow put the mother and the son in there and he said i'm gonna i'm gonna go get help for us yeah so he left them in there and then he went to the village to go look for help and he was like delirious because it was cold and stuff and hypothermia and everything so when he got to the village he collapsed mm-hmm. so 
when he was sitting down, he was lying down on the floor. Basically, what happened was that he uh, practically went insane. Yeah. So he, the, the villagers were trying to tell him to sit down and not leave, but he wanted to go save his family. Yeah. So he took an axe and he went back into the village. Now, what happened was that when he went back, he saw the cow and the cow was alive. What? The cow was alive. Yeah. So he went insane. He started, he thought the cow ate his family. So he started killing the cow. Yeah. And he killed it. And then what ended up happening was at this point, he was like mind broken. He didn't even know what he was doing at that point. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that the son was still alive, but the mother was dead, unexplained. So he took the cow head, put it on his head, and he chased the son. Because he, I, I don't know why he chased the, the son, fuck? but he started chasing the son. And he chased the son all the way back to the village. Yeah. And the son, he went and told all the villagers, the dad's crazy, trying to kill him, everything. Yeah. So... They all went and they killed the dad because he came in with a cow head. Bloody, yeah, what the fuck? Uh, you, you, you would obviously go, mm. go body that. And what happened was that when he died, right, the son, he grew up and he started recounting the story. But the story was so terrifying that he didn't think he wanted his son to hear it. Mm. So when he wrote it, he threw all the pages away. All the oh, pages. Oh, shit. Threw all the pages shit. Away. So going back to the, the teacher, the teacher told that story and every kid who was bullying that kid they stopped and they were like holy shit yeah because they were so intrigued about it and the kid he was smiling this is where it gets messed up why was he smiling he looked at the teacher and he told him that's not the way it really went and from his backpack he picked up a page that the son originally threw oh shit and he told the actual story Oh, <laughs> so he cursed all he of cursed them? All of them. So this is what happens. When he started reading the story, every kid, all the teacher, everybody was begging him to stop because the story was just that terrifying. Yeah. So then the next day, the bus crashed. Oh, fuck. The bus crashed. And every, like, like when the police went there and everything, everybody was foaming from the mouth. What the fuck? Foaming from the mouth. And that's it. And they the all mouth. died. They all died. And no, no, no. Yeah. The the kid, he was the only one still alive and he was smiling when they found him. In the bus. In the bus. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so he pretty much like cursed all of them. There's some like next witchcraft type of next thing. Next witchcraft type of thing. And apparently, if you read that story, everybody dies because it's just that terrifying. Damn. No, but is there a copy of this story somewhere? Nobody knows the full story. This is the thing about it. The story isn't concrete. So everybody who uh who writes about the story, yeah, they don't have all the pages. And they don't have the exact way it was written. The exact way it was written. Yeah. So nobody knows the full way. So these are just our recounts. So mm. the actual story might be terrifying. But you know what they say? What? Basically that the uh the way the, the, the thing with the father and the son, mm -hmm. it's a plot twist. The father was actually right. So the son killed the mother. Oh so he was actually trying to avenge the mother. Oh shit. So when the son was running back to the village to get help, he, he was he was actually the one at fault. But because the father looked that terrifying, they went and targeted him instead. Damn. It's like a plot like to, it's a plot twist like that. It's That's like, crazy. It's that stuff, should be dude. a movie, bro. Is, a movie? Is that shit a movie? I think so. I think you could read about it. There's different tellings of the story, but that's just one way. That's the one I read about. That's crazy. No, because like, so he planned it, fam. He planned it. He planned it, and that ties into the human nature, fam. Human nature, exactly. So it's stuff like that. It can't be explained. And if there's some like curse attached to it, he was definitely like approached by some next demon or spirit or something that made him do that. Exactly. And then we're talking about the father. What if the son was possessed by a demon? Yeah. Something like that. You don't know. This is the thing. Nobody knows the way the story went. So it's Damn. Nobody bro. talks about it. There's other stories like that, though. You need a next one? I'm like that. You have more stories like that? Okay, like, they're not as terrifying as that one, but if you need a next one, I got you. Okay, I'll, I want to tell a story first. Okay, go first. So this, this is like my go-to, this is my go-to, like, campfire story. I, I don't think I ever told this one. Hit me. So this is a very popular story, too. Okay. So once upon a time, okay, there was this old lady uh -huh. that lives in her house with a dog. Just her dog alone. Okay. And... What, whenever she goes to bed, she would always drop her hand nearby her bed and wait for a dog to lick her hand. So that's how she knows, like, the dog's right beside her. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. So 
one day comes, she eats dinner, she does her nightly routine. Yeah, right? And she goes to bed. Yeah. So she she goes to her bed, lies down, puts her arm down, waiting for the lick from her dog, right? Okay. She gets the lick on her hand. Yeah. And she goes to sleep. Right. Now she's awakened by a sound of a drip. A drip. 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 Right? Yeah. And she wakes up. She's like, okay, let me check the washroom. Uh, she goes to the washroom and she sees, oh shit, it's the sink. Like, it's dripping. Yeah. So she tightens the knobs. It stops dripping. She goes back to her bed. Mm. Goes to sleep again. Drops her hand down. Waits for the lick. She gets a lick from her dog. Uh, goes to sleep. Now she's awakened the second time. And she's like, what is that? So she goes up. She checks the washroom. Now it's the shower. The shower is dripping, right? Uh -huh. Like, okay, turn the knobs, tighten it, whatever. Go back to bed. Yeah. Put her hand down, get the lick. Uh-huh. Goes to sleep, right? Right, right, right? Now she wakes up again and she hears the dripping, but it's coming from the basement this time. Uh-huh. So she goes down to her basement. Yeah. She walks down and she hears the drip getting closer and closer, right? Okay. And she sees her dog hung by a rope. Okay. Dripping blood from its head. Whoa. Onto the floor. Oh, what the hell? And then on the wall, yeah. it says, humans can lick too. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Wait. So a human was licking her the entire time? A human was licking her hand no. the entire time. <laughs> no. Nah, the entire. So wait, like, how long was she getting licked for? It? Huh? How long was she getting licked for? Wait, like, cause she, you said she's an old woman. She's an old woman. So should she be getting licked since she was like fifty? No, who knows? Who knows how long it was? Who knows how long it oh was? Oh my god! But every time she would put her hand down to see the dog, bro, she would get that lick. She didn't get that lick. And she went down and she saw the dog with the. Bl I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's my. That's like my go-to. That's one of my favorites to tell at a campfire. No, nah, no. Nah, but that's what these stories are blessed for, bro. Dude, those stories are, are so good for those like those moments together where you just want to talk about something creepy. Nah, they lie campfire, they whatever maybe. I love spooky stories. I love stories like that too. When there's like a plot twist at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, I, f I think the best stories in the world have a plot twist. Uh, I love it when they lead you on and in the end they hit you with something you never even thought about. Yeah, I love stories. Those are like my. That. Favorite. Those are so good. Like mystery, horror, whatever it may be. If it has a plot twist yeah. or something crazy like that, A1. All right, let me hear your next story. Okay. Like, I know you have another one. This one, this one's called the Red Cloak. The Red Cloak? The Red Cloak. There's a Japanese name for it, but I forgot what it was, but it's called the Red Cloak. Uh, Basically, it's this person. Uh, They always, they always, uh, they attack people in the washroom. Mm-hmm. You go into the washroom and you're sitting down. And basically the spirit yeah. asks you a question. Mm -hmm. They say red or blue. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that if you answer red, you're going to have a bloody end right there. What do you mean bloody end? I like, don't know. It like doesn't a bloody specify. End. It does not specify, but it says a bloody end. And it says if you choose blue, you get suffocated. Okay. And then it says, if you try to confuse the spirit, say green, orange, or purple, yeah, they drag you to hell. What the fuck? And then, and then yeah. the only way to escape it is to say nothing and run away. So you just run. You, you just, just run. run. So if you entertain the spirit, it gets you. If you entertain the spirit, it gets you. And you see that a lot with Japanese spirits. So Japanese spirits, I don't know. They have something in their washroom. Mm -hmm. They have something in their washroom. In the washroom. <laughs> the washroom. <laughs> they love washrooms. Yeah. But basically, if you answer to that spirit, it does something to you. And you're going to see in other Japanese folklore, there's, mm -hmm. there's stories like that where they go and attack you in the washroom, depending on your answer. So. Yeah. Uh, there's another one and I think she's called like the slit mouth girl mm. and she does something similar to that one where she basically walks up to you and she asks you is she pretty oh yeah, yeah I think I heard you about this, this. Yeah, yeah where she's like um, if you answer no she kills you if you answer yes she puts the scissors in your mouth and she jokers your shit oh shit <laughs> she jokers your so shit so she makes she makes you like her she makes you like her and the only way to get out of it is to say you're okay 
Oh, like you look all right? Yeah, I, call, I gotta call her basic. You gotta call her basic. Uh, I, you look all right. Yeah. It's stories like that. So you'll see in like folklore, they're gonna ask you questions and depending on how smart you are is the way you get out of it. But you can never, ever give them affirmation. You can't answer. You can't play their game. So you can just like, just ignore it. You gotta either, you gotta ignore it. You gotta dip. It's stories like that. Damn. What if, what if a spirit approaches you but they look very human? Or they look just like a regular person. Right. You're going to be forced to like say something, no? Exactly. So, and it's good you say that because the slip mouth girl, the one yeah. with the scissors, she has a big gash over here where you can see her teeth. But when she talks to you, she changes her face so she looks human. Oh, so she just talks on she her talks side. side. She talks side profile so you can't see it. Oh. So you're forced to answer her. That's fucked. And then it's like a plot twist. Like, it's a plot twist. You oh, you thought? <laughs> I Damn. got these on me. Nah, let me play. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. But That's yeah, crazy. It's like that. It's That's, that. See, the, the Japanese and the Asian stories, Yeah, they go really, really deep because I feel like some of those are just based on true events, man. I think so too. I think they come from something like that. I hear uh, Filipino stories are even worse, bro. I, I haven't heard a lot about the Filipino. Yo, there's, there's some dark Filipino ones. Like one of them, I think I talked about this before, but my mom, she was watching this television broadcast. Right. And there was this school. Yeah. Every single kid that was playing in the yard, yeah. they were speaking Latin. Right. They were like possessed. Uh -huh. And what happened was there was like a spirit that, possessed all of them because they were playing in a graveyard or they were nearby a graveyard and then there's like news broadcast footage of these kids imagine a kid like eight years old yeah how the fuck are they gonna know how to speak latin uh, during the philippines too yeah oh what the fuck they're speaking fluent latin no nah. like a dead language bro and spitting that shit spitting that Nah, they definitely got possessed. And more, more than one? More yeah, the whole one? class. The whole, the class? whole class, bro. That's Yo, okay. Bro, bro, chill, there, there's, there's, a sim there's a similar story. I heard I heard there's this um there's this school in Zimbabwe, I think. Zimbabwe? Yeah. But it, it's not ghost. It's not a ghost story. But what happened was there was a, this huge event where all of the teachers, all of the kids that were out on recess this day. Yeah. They saw a UFO land in their yard. Cap. And aliens walk out. And everybody that was there to this day, they still believe that there were real aliens and they saw it themselves. Every single person that was there. Nah, bro, I don't believe that. You don't what? believe that? I don't believe that. What? It's cr it's crazy because the whole, like the teachers, uh -huh. the students, uh -huh. anybody that was outside during that time. Yeah. Yeah. That's still alive. Yeah. They swear to their deathbed that they saw the same thing. All of them. So let's say like 80 eyewitnesses, bro. Zimbabwe, right? In Zimbabwe. Where's Zimbabwe again? Isn't it in Africa? Zimbabwe. Yeah, a country in Africa. Yeah. What if it was just a plane? Hey, look, it's one It's one of the first things. The Ruwa UFO incident, oh. 1994. Oh. So 62 pupils at the aerial school aged between 6 and 12 claimed that they saw one or more silver crafts descend from the sky and land on a field of their school. Yeah. What? And they saw they said they saw aliens. Look, they even drew pictures. Look at that shit. Look at that shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but tell me tell me why all of the kids and the staff of the school. Uh-huh. Okay. Like everybody. Okay. Okay. Like you, you believe that? I don't know, bro. You believe that? But if, if it's 62 kids that all say the same thing plus the staff. But they're kids. Oh, but no, the but staff. the staff. The staff and they're still alive to this day. The thing but look look at the way they drew the aliens. I know, I'm not gonna lie, the look way they look the aliens. aliens fam. That's the way you and me would draw an alien if we <laughs> that, What? No, nah, that's so true though. If you if the, if it was a real alien, come on now. That looks like something you see on TV. But bro, what if the real aliens do look like that though? What if what if that's how they actually look? Ugly as shit. Yo, yo, it's wearing pants too. Like they, they specifically drew the pants, dog. Okay. It's possible. It's possible. Who knows, possible. man? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I haven't seen an alien. I haven't seen an alien either. It could be. It okay, could okay. Be. What if the the classic image of like the big eye, gray body, whatever? Yeah. 
is actually real. Like maybe it's like that because that's what it is. But that's what a lot of people have seen of the same thing. But we we like cartoonize it so much yeah. to be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. That, that shit's not real. Because like, fam, you think aliens actually look like that? Don't you think aliens would have some like next shit to them? Like, okay, it may, maybe it's just me, but I feel like if aliens look like that, I would be hella unimpressed. Really? Bro, I want an alien to look like some like freaking sh- like a some elite some from Halo, some <laughs> <laughs> like that. I, I want to look like some shit I never seen before, fam. That shit's some shit you never seen before. I, like I you only seen it in cartoons. Yeah, but like you know, like I, CGI. I have seen it in cartoons. I want to be. You want something like fucking Thanos, bro? <laughs> nah, fam. It's if I see Thanos, I'm be scared shitless, bro. Okay, I want it. Okay, I want it to look like third form Frieza, fam. Search that up. Oh no, that's fucked. Yeah, is it, is this Frieza with a long head? I want it to look like that, bro. Third, I'm gonna search it up right search, now. Search up third form Frieza, bro. Third form Frieza. <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, fine. that's, that's fine. an alien, bro. Look at that shit. That that's that's my stuff. That's my stuff. It's gonna look like this. KSI, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's this. That's this. That's this. Oh my. Nah. <laughs> okay, if an alien looks like that, I'm shook, bro. I'm shook. I want to be shook, bro. I don't want to look at an alien and be disappointed. I want to be shook. I want to be. I want to be impressed. Okay, but what if what if they're scarier than you think? What if like when you see them, uh, they can do shit to your mind? Okay, that's fucked. What if they like they could look cute and cuddly and shit, but they can do shit to your mind? Because I think that's what aliens can do. I think that's scarier than if it's actually looking scary. Oh. If it looks cute, but it's messed up inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is terrible. Like a uh, meep from yeah, fucking Phineas yeah, and Ferb. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Cute looking things that are do messed up things are a lot more terrifying than like just messed up things so what what if aliens do have like that ability to manipulate our minds and manipulate what we see that's the reason we can't see them what if we're all we're uh, get this what if we're all already hypnotized by aliens what if bro what if we're already hypnotized by aliens what if we already seen them but they manipulated our minds so that we can't view them. You don't know this. Damn. We don't know this. Damn. Te- shit like telepathy, fam. Shit like telepathy. Where does that come from? Something. Something. Did you know the, the pyramids of Giza are like in the exact middle of the earth? Really? Like the exact middle. And they, 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 they line up with the, um, the stars of Orion or something like that. Nah, but that's fire. Damn. They line up like all together. Sheesh. Nah. Isn't that weird? That's like some really like alien shit, bro. Like who how how did we as humans know exactly where to put that building? That's true. I don't know. I, I can't explain that. That's true. But like it could be a coincidence. It, what if it's all a coincidence, man? What if everything I, I feel like I feel like it's less likely that it's all a coincidence though. You think it's less likely? I think it's less likely that's all a coincidence. Yeah. Why not? Why do you think that? I think it's just less likely just because there's so much to it and there's so it is very like a closed-minded view to think that we're the only people here. Okay. Like we're the only. That's true. Uh I I was in anthro class in grade 10 and my uh my teacher was telling me how earth as a whole is like one big coincidence because when oh, you think about man. it when you think about it to get like the perfect rotation the sun and the way it is the moon right where it is yeah how lucky you have to be for that no that's so true in a universe in a universe no black holes no big but stars. see if it's such a big coincidence i don't think it's coincidence yeah i no nah, that's that's true like, right I, I, that's true i can't disagree like how 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 likely is this to ever happen there has to be something to it yeah and no i agree with you i agree with you. man i'm like blowing my mind just thinking more about like because we're so small so small no nah, like actually so small we're space dust yeah that's no, we're like nothing well what if what if deeper in outer space everything is 100 times bigger like yeah. Thousand times bigger, million times bigger. More times, like their worlds are like way huger, and then we're just like nothing. Like they can't even see Earth. It's possible. More times it is. Look at us. If you compare Earth to like our sun, we're space dust, bro. Really space dust. That's crazy. We're space dust. Like somebody could come with a big hand. It's some like Horton hears a who shit. Exactly. exactly. Okay, well, what would you do if you heard like some next voice coming off of a plant? I'm beating the shit out of it. What you talking about? Chill, but what if you just destroyed the whole earth right there? Don't talk to me then. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what if maybe that's that type of mindset is the exact reason why aliens don't come here? Why? Because we're dangerous? Yeah, because we're dangerous. What if they're dangerous? 
They probably are dangerous too, but but danger and danger don't mix well together. Shouldn't they assume that we're dangerous? Shouldn't we assume that they're dangerous? That's true, yeah. Why, why are they coming to threaten us then? Maybe they're not trying to threaten. Maybe they're just trying to say, what's up? Then don't go into okay, a okay. <laughs> How How do you, okay, let's say, let's say, let's say there's like a, you know those isolated islands with people that never been touched before? Yeah. How do you go and approach them? Because technically you're an alien to them. I wave my hand. I say, "What's up?" No, but like, if, if you if you go there, what if they just kill you? Because that's what they that's what they did to other people that tried in and contact them. The, uh, the tribes they killed them. Uh, they killed all the people that that landed there. Shit. So that same mindset, right? Uh, onto a bigger scale, like alien to the world. That's even more scary. That is true. I wouldn't know how to approach them. Maybe that's why they don't approach us. That's what I'm saying. No, you're true. That's, that's very right? true. We are dangerous like that. Yeah. And if we see some unseen object come down to the earth, like like even an asteroid, like if an asteroid comes there, we're going to try and blow it up a lot. If something unseen comes to earth, you're going to try and attack it. That's just, that's the, true. That's just the normal thing you do. Have you seen those videos of asteroids just like landing and shit? Yeah. I saw this one TikTok, this asteroid landed out of nowhere in front of two people. Yeah. Just landed, boom. And it's like glowing hot because it was, was going through the space, bro. That's sick. And I'm pretty sure meteors, they're worth a lot of money. Really? It's worth a lot of I think something like this big is worth like five thousand to fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand yeah. bones? Sure. Because that shit came from space, bro. Oh my. The thing I learned about asteroids and meteorites though is that I learned that uh NASA did a study on them. Yeah. And I found out that if one of them ever came to Earth, we wouldn't be able to stop it. You know that? Wait, what? Did you know that humans lack the necessary weapons to destroy an asteroid? So if For real? No, absolutely. Like, if an asteroid... So they did a study recently. Yeah. It was either a year ago or uh, two years ago, but they said that they did a simulation, and no matter what they tried, they could not stop an asteroid from destroying Earth. What the fuck? With all the nukes and shit? All the nukes and everything. They could not stop one. So if one was ever to come to Earth, we can't do it. Damn, no, that's going to be like fucking your name. Your name, exactly. Because even if they blow it up, a piece would come off. A piece would come off. And that shit would drop anyway. The only thing could try and do is change the direction but they can never destroy it wow isn't that terrifying that's crazy isn't that scary and every single time so now every time there's an asteroid that's coming near earth they document it because they know they can't stop it it's crazy you know you heard that theory how the denver airport is like a base is like an underground bunker no you don't hear about that? I never heard about that. So Denver Airport, like, has a lot of conspiracy about it. I talked about it before. Yeah. But anyways, it's said to be, like, an underground bunker for the elites, for, like, the, the presidents, for all the rich and powerful people. They go there, and it's underground bunker, so they're safe. So I think in 2016 or earlier, I forgot when, something like that, like 2014, 2016, uh-huh. Barack Obama was in Denver on the same day a huge meteor was going to hit Earth. It's supposedly going to hit Earth, but by chance it didn't and went off into a different direction. But Barack Obama was in Denver that same day, bro. Barack Obama does that bullet? Yes, bro. Oh my god. But but the fact the fact is like uh, that means Denver Airport is maybe may very well be underground bunker for the elites. I believe that. Probably. I, honestly, I believe that. There's like, gotta, there's gotta be something there's like gotta that. Gotta be something like I think there's somewhere in the world that's probably gonna protect that, like all the, all the higher up people. Yeah, they definitely funded that. That's probably the first thing they came into fruition when World War Three was a thing. They're like, okay, we let's gotta, make a bunker. Let's make a bunker. Yeah, no, that's so true. Exactly. You, you want to have a, a backup plan, a plan B. Yeah. Yo, you know, you know, in the Astro World Festival. Yeah. Travis Scott's like mountain, right? Yeah. I forgot exactly the name of the mountain. But it's based off a real mountain in in the states, uh, and the hole in it in that mountain is actually a hole that leads to a real bunker. Really, supposedly for the same purpose as Denver Airport, like the Illuminati bunker. So is that one maybe for like all the celebrities and stuff? Maybe, maybe, maybe he has a membership there, bro. Because look, look, if you're rich and powerful, yeah, and you have enough money to invest into like a safe house, yeah, why not? Why not? That's what I you you would do that. I would do that. Probably. Well, of course. You would, you would all do, do that, that, bro. Of course. Especially like if 
the world, like like the climate change and everything that's happening in the world, you want to be safe. Yeah, for you sure. You definitely invest in something like that. Yeah. Of course. But hopefully then none of that shit happens, bro. Like, I don't want to. Hopefully our government's thinking about us, bro. We better have bunkers, too. I think I think we got to do that for ourselves. Because I, I seen, like, even in the UK, there's, like, these preppers, you know, the apocalypse preppers. Yeah. They make their own bunkers, bro. They make their own bunkers. Like, I think we're all on our own. You got to be on that grind, then. We got to make one. Fam. We got to make one. What if that's a good business opportunity? We make a huge ass bunker and then we sell out like rooms to people. What's messed up is like the only way we get business is if some shit is actually happening. No, no, but we can, we can hold it down like insurance. Oh, okay. Nah, you can hold it down like insurance. I know you got those. I have the business ideas, bro. Business ideas. Jumpers jump, jumpers jump, bunker coming soon. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. I will wrap it up there. Thank All you right, Denzel yo. for coming through. Anytime, yo. Anytime. Thank you, you everyone for watching this episode of Jumpers Jump. Go check out the links in our bio. Check out my clothing brand. Check out their Instagrams. Check out Denzel's Instagram if you want. Yes, sir. Jumpers Jump out. Take care.